Yes, orange is the essence of life. Ooh, it's spraying its juices all over the place. You know, it's a little known fact, but for centuries, Native American tribes have been using the rare, the rare skins of the very hard to find American micro oranges. Very rare. They only, they only grow in caves where light can't get to them because their natural predators are found all throughout the Native Americans way before any settlers came to them. These micro-oranges, very high in nutrients. Their skin, this stuff on the inside of the skin right here, this white stuff, you just peel it off and apply it to your wounds. It would cauterize, it would heal. It has a specific healing property. Even in some modern oranges, you can still find it by just rubbing it on an open wound. Let's pretend that's an open wound. Just rub it a little. The wound would clear up several days, just continuing the process. A lot of people don't seem to understand a lot of things about oranges, like... Honestly, the best way to open it up is to just insert your thumb right in the middle. Cleave it in two. Right in that little... Right in that little hole that forms when you remove them. The, the nodule, the prime nodule, as it's called, in the biological field. And the orange will easily just split in two, where it can easily just be plied into more pieces, manipulated with uh, your fingers, your appendages. Also, the thing people don't understand is the best way to eat the orange is to Just bite a little bit off the end and sort of suck all the nutrients out slowly, like... <sighs> it does involve a squeezing motion of sorts as the entire inside of the orange. All the juice is held in those little capsules. You can't really see them very well with that skin cover on it, but each one of those ridges is a, its own little juice juice pocket. A little juice cell. And the ancients would harvest these little juice cells individually, and you can just bite into them for an instant boost a little energy. But the the real thing, the real the, the ingenuitive breakthrough is that these Romans, the Romans, would they'd store the juice pockets. A whole bunch of them at the time. They sort of use them as ancient batteries of sorts. Fruit-based batteries. That was the future. They were so ahead of everyone else in their time. Well, because of those Roman oranges. That's one thing that Native Americans could never figure out. Even then, it would have been pretty hard for them. Those little mini oranges, very few juice packets. And they're low energy juice packets. Oh yeah, you see that? That's orange power right there. There's some of the fruit cells. The fruit cells, that's where all the power is. Check that shit. Look at that. Individual fruit cells right there. 100% of the energy. Sort of look like uh, fish eggs in a way. But each one of these is a power cell. You can just pop one in your mouth. Get some get some juice power. Just, just an average trip. That'll power you up. The Romans, they'd use whole oranges like this entire section that would be about half the power but like this whole thing this thing 
uh, probably power a whole house for like a week off of the Roman technology, but sadly, um, that's been lost to the ages, the, the secret of fruit power. Let me just get some of this power. Mm, yeah, that's good stuff. Use one of these little cells. You don't really see them around too much because it's all about big, big power. Like, honestly, we could probably figure out how to do it again in the modern days, but all those big power companies, Enron, Exxon, Suncor, they're just trying to, just trying to hold you down. They don't, they don't want this out because it's power to the people, man. You just grow some oranges in your backyard, even if you were to live in somewhere chilly. Oranges are incredibly versatile. How do you think they... I think the American Indians had them. They're incredible ver versatility. They can grow in many, many environments. Good sh It's orange power right there.